On June 15, 1991, at 1.42 p.m., the island of Luzon in the Philippines was faced with the second largest volcanic eruption in the 20th century, the eruption of Mount Pinatubo. This eruption had a devastating impact not only on the local environment and people, but on a global scale as well. Before we get more into the effects of the eruption, let's start from the beginning. Mount Pinatubo sits on a destructive plate boundary. It is a subduction-related volcano formed by the Eurasian plate sliding under the Philippine Mobile Belt along the Manila Trench. On July 16, 1990, a magnitude 7.8 earthquake struck about 60 miles northeast of Mount Pinatubo. This caused landslides, earthquakes, and an increase in steam emissions at the mountain. The volcano seemed to be stable again until about two months before the major eruptions beginning on June 12. During these two months, there were emissions and small explosions before the eruptions. From June 7th to the 12th, the first magma had reached the surface of Mount Pinatubo and oozed out to form a lava dome, but this did not cause an explosive eruption. This changed, however, on June 12th, Philippine Independence Day, when millions of cubic yards of magma exploded in the volcano's first eruption. This still was only the beginning for the Philippines. On June 15th, at 1.42 p.m. local time, the stratovolcano exploded in a catalysmic eruption that shot nearly 20 million tons of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere over the next nine hours. This eruption produced a column of ash and smoke more than 30 kilometers high. The cloud of sulfur dioxide mixed with water vapor circled the entire globe in 22 days. The effects of global warming were offset due to the cloud of sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere. The cloud deflected 2% of the Earth's incoming solar radiation and temperatures worldwide were lowered on average by 0.4 to 0.5 degrees Celsius. Mount Pinatubo ejected roughly 10 billion tons of magma onto the surrounding landscape. Ash deposits over 2 inches thick covered a land area of about 4,000 square kilometers. This caused crops and other plant life around Mount Pinatubo to burn. The eruption removed so much magma and rock from below the volcano that the summit collapsed to form a large caldera 2.5 kilometers across. High levels of precipitation caused a lake to form in the crater at Mount Pinatubo. The environment wasn't the only thing to be affected by this volcanic eruption. Pyroclastic flows, lahars, as well as the ashfall hazard all resulted in damage and casualties. There were several warning signs of the eruption, which allowed for planning and evacuation to take place. These warning signs and evacuations allowed thousands of lives to be saved. While there were lives saved, more than 350 people perished during the eruption, and many more died as a result of diseases that broke out and the continuing mud flows in the area due to Typhoon Yonya, a strong tropical cyclone that hit the area shortly after the time of the eruption. The death toll would have been much lower if this typhoon never hit. The eruption left more than 200,000 people homeless and forced more than 30,000 people living in small villages on the volcano to relocate. Tensions rose between neighboring communities who were all trying to divert the lahars from destroying their own communities. By diverting lahars from one area, it puts another area at a higher risk. The eruption cost over 700 million U.S. dollars in damage, 100 million of which was damaged to 16 aircraft flying at the time of the eruption. Economic growth was weakened by this eruption and caused an economic loss that totaled 1 billion U.S. dollars by the year 2000. The Philippines suffered a great deal from this eruption. While there was millions of dollars in damage and hundreds of lives lost, the damages and impact could have been much worse. The surrounding areas did a good job of evacuating people out and giving warnings. It is known as one of the most successful hazard mitigation efforts of a large volcanic eruption. There has been very little changes in the Philippines as a result of the Mount Pinatubo eruption because of this. 
Today, Mount Pinatubo is a popular tourist attraction for tourists wanting to visit the Pinatubo Lake. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation on the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo.